all nine red scabbards explained. Part 3, Cat Viper. Cat Viper or Neko Mamushi is the king of the night of Mokumo Dukedom and the ruler of the Mink tribe alongside Dogstorm. Cat Viper is much more playful and less reserved than his canine counterpart. Even while injured, he still entertains himself by playing with balls and cat teasers and by eating his favorite food lasagna. Cat Viper also has a very sensitive tongue and a fear of needles. Now onto his backstory. When Dogstorm and Cat Viper were children, they left So and headed to Wano after learning about the unbreakable pact the Kozuki and Minks made hundreds of years ago. On the way there, the two get shipwrecked but somehow manage to wash up on the shores of Wano. When found by locals, Dogstorm and Cat Viper, alongside Kawamatsu, are presumed to be monsters and tied to a stake and burn. But Odin, who happened to be fishing at the time, spots this and saves the three creatures. Following this, Dogstorm, Cat Viper, and Kawamatsu follow Odin home to become his final vassals. Cat Viper is one of the only few people left who has sailed with both the Whitebeard and Roger Pirates, with the others being Dogstorm, Momonosuke, and Hiyori. On the day Odin snuck out of Wano to join Whitebeard, Cat Viper and Dogstorm followed as well and sailed with the pirates for four years. Then, on the day the Whitebeard and Roger Pirates fought, Cat Viper and Dogstorm followed Odin to the Oral Jackson and sailed there for one year before getting off at Wano. Fast forward to after Odin's death, Dogstorm and Cat Viper were caught by the Beast Pirates while running away, but were able to escape to Zo. However, due to their master's death, the two started to develop an extremely bitter relationship. After blaming one another for what happened, their relationship had become so bad in fact that they had to operate on two different time schedules or else they would fight to the death if they met eyes. Jump forward 20 years, where Rizo has arrived at Zo after successfully traveling into the future. However, Jack the Draw appears shortly at the island looking for the samurai. The Minx protect and hide Rizo, insisting that they don't know him, which causes the pirates and Minx to clash. During the night, Cat Viper was able to fight off Jack for five days, but lost once the pirate brought out his poisonous gas. The Minx are tortured, and Cat Viper curses Jack before his arm is cut off. The Minx are saved though, firstly by Luffy beating Doflamingo, which forced Jack to leave Zo, and secondly by Chopper, who was able to neutralize the poison and treat the Minx's wounds. When Luffy arrives at Zo with Kin and the others, the two leader Minx come out to meet them but make eye contact along the way. They start to engage in battle until Kinemon reveals himself. Dogstorm and Cat Viper stop their fighting, and with tears in their eyes, reveal that Raizo is safe and sound. When Momo reveals himself as well and tells them to stop fighting, the two Minks put their differences aside and finally agree to a ceasefire. After bringing the Straw Hats to Raizo and showing them the road Ponoglyph, Cat Viper goes to Whitebeard's hometown to reunite with Marco. Marco shares a moment with his old crewmate and tells him stories about how Whitebeard cared for his home and always secretly pumped money into the village. Afterwards, the two find Izo and Marco carries them over to Onigashima just in time for the raid. Now onto Cat Viper's powers. Unlike the other Red Scabbards, Cat Viper prefers to use his claws instead of swords, though still says Odin one or two sword style when calling out his attacks. He also wields a staff which he can use Electro with. As a mink, Cat Viper has increased physical stats and can use Electro, but most importantly, he has access to his Sulong form, which drastically increases his speed and strength when the moon is out. To replace his lost arm, Cat Viper attaches a gun to his hand. Back to the story. Right as the raid of Onigashima starts, Marco drops off Cat Viper and Izo at the back entrance of the Skull Dome. Once all the scabbards have gathered together, they jump Kaido and follow him to the rooftop. With the full moon out, the mink kings immediately turn into a Sulong and get their revenge on Jack, effortlessly defeating him in their transformed states. The scabbards then start fighting Kaido, but even as they all attack him, the King of the Beast tells them that they aren't even strong enough to open up the old scar created by Odin before quickly disposing of the nine samurai. Once the worst generation arrive at the rooftop, Law transports the red scabbards to a floor below. When the samurai regain consciousness, Ashura Doji sacrifices himself to take care of the fake Odin created by Kanjuro. As the rest of the samurai start chasing after Kanjuro, Cat Viper hears from Bariate that Paris Sparrow killed Pedro, leading him to find and square off with the big mom pirate. With the fight taking place outside, Cat Viper gets a full gaze of the moon and starts dominating the battle as a Sulong. But before he can win, he reverts back after the moon is covered. Just in time, however, Luffy Luffy clashes Conqueror's Haki with Kaido, causing the heavens to split and turning Cat Viper back into a Sulong. With an Odin One Sword style, feline frenzy, Cat Viper beats Paris Sparrow and avenges his fallen comrade. At the end of the raid, Cat Viper is the one to tell everyone that Luffy has beaten Kaido and that the ninja pirate mink Samurai Alliance was victorious. After the raid, Cat Viper goes along the other red scabbards, Yamato, Shinobu, and Momonosuke to fight Green Bull. The samurai are overpowered, but thanks to an intervention from Shanks, Green Bull leaves the country. Cat Viper ends his story by transferring the leadership of Mokomo Dukedom to Carrot, as both he and Dogstorm decide to stay in one to serve Momonosuke.